Hello and welcome to my reflections on day 74 um, in my final week um, of the Dow. Uh, makes me feel quite emotional actually. This uh, the Dow has become uh, has become a friend. Uh, I think it will always continue to be a friend. Um, you can't do something for this long and not build some kind of relationship with it. Uh, but day 74, what's day 74 all about? Um, it's about death. It's about death. Um, there is a, a meditative process uh, that exists within Buddhism. It is called die before you die. Uh, it is to meditate on your own death. And so certainly uh, the Tao on day 74 was about exploring the relationship with your own mortality. Um, now I, I am fortunate enough that this is feels quite familiar for me. It's something I've done many times. Um, <clears throat> there's a few times in my life where I thought I'd come actually quite close to, um, yeah, come quite close to <coughs> uh, the <laughs> the end of my life. And so you question what's important and how you are in the world and and your legacy what you want to be remembered for um there will be a time in all our lives when when actually we will just be we'll just be memories um and uh what sort of memory would you would you like people to have about you now on the one hand that seems very for some people as I've talked about this quite a lot uh, over the years, some people feel that's quite macabre. Um, I don't actually. I think it's an incredibly liberating and empowering thing to think about how you want to be remembered because it, it helps give you a narrative for how you want to be in the world um, right now. Uh, it gives you an insight into the things you miss, maybe the things are the things that are really important to you. And actually, should I pay some more attention to those things now? What things do I take for granted that actually I will miss very dearly? Um, how should I be uh, and how do I need to be in the world? Um, and how, how do the people around me, what do they need from me differently? What am I caught up in, in doing and being? And so um, all things that um, the left and when we explore life in the extremes then very often we work out what's important to us the left of arc and the right of arc very often create a sense of thinking and a sense of freedom and a sense of understanding for us and so our ability to be able to take a moment and explore things in the extreme sometimes is is quite important and so considering how you want to be remembered and considering what sort of things you might miss and and what sort of influence you are makes me think about what sort of parent I am, what sort of friend. Uh, also makes me think about, think about uh, some friendships um, and how many friendships that I've got uh, and, and how they're maintained and who maintains them and who puts what energy into them and whether some of those friendships um, are a, uh, a function of of what I know rather than who I am. Um, so quite often, uh, yeah, day 74 made me think about a little experiment that I did a couple of years ago where I just uh, withdrew uh, from making lots of phone calls and maintaining lots of relationships and friendships um, to see who picked up the phone to talk to me. Um, yeah, and that was quite interesting because you start to see and understand the significance of the contribution that you do and don't make in other people's lives. So day 74 uh, is a reminder of something, a very raw, very visceral, a very powerful little exercise that, uh, that I think about quite often. And I do um, uh, quite often is consider, um, you know, not my death, but but the consequences of that and actually what does that mean for my life today and how I want to be and where I want to devote my time and what relationships I want to put my energy into and how I'd like to be remembered because um, that then helps really really empower me and navigate me to to live the life um, of, of compassion that I live right now so a powerful day 
on many levels. So I will see you all uh, with my reflections of day 75. See you all soon.